Well, no IPA was grabbed out of my fridge today, but the beer that was grabbed is questionable. What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome to Daily Drink Vlog, fucking whatever type thing, number 88. 88 is the atomic number of radium. A piano has 88 keys. Standard piano. And the gang, ninja, crazy, army, insane people in Kill Bill were called the Crazy 88s. Ah. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going out to those of you watching my videos. The Beard loves you all so very much. Indeed he does. Anyway, for the beer of the today, we've got a large bottle of Innis and Gun Original. My friend Marcel, who has a very different palate than me, said this was delicious. The other beer I had by these guys was definitely not delicious, but this one's very different, so... hopes are kinda high-ish? Medium? Medium? Medium hopes? I don't know. Let's get into this bitch! For today's glass, yeah, I thought it might be a good idea to have a big glass, 40 big beer. Not sure if it's gonna fit, but let's see what we've got. I just realized I'm pouring the opposite way I usually do and it feels really weird. This actually looks a lot less like death than that other beer by these guys. That Scottish stout with the Irish whiskey finish. This looks really nice. And wasn't able to fit it all in there. Smells alright too. Let's give her a shot. Okay, that's very, very unique flavors going on in there, but that's actually really tasty. Awesome! Hey, we got enough room for that now, maybe. Oh, come on now, just, just, come on, you can do it. <laughs> that's a pretty full glass right there now. Let's do this. Yeah, I can't explain. The flavor's like a weird kind of maybe maybe caramelly type flavor in there. Some other sweetness going on. Really, really complex, but good. Stuff's apparently oak aged like no other beer. So maybe I'm tasting oak. Brewed in small batches. Smooth Scottish beer with hints of toffee, vanilla, and oak. I don't think I got much vanilla. I don't know. This honey-hued beer is matured over the finest American oak heartwood to unlock natural flavors from deep within the oak grain. These luscious flavors of toffee, vanilla, and oak perfectly balance the beer's malt backbone and light top fruitiness. Light hop fruitiness. Its mellowness and depth of flavor makes it a great accompaniment to food like grilled seafood, sea blah, 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 blah. grilled seafood, juicy steaks, and mature cheese. 6.6% .6 alcohol. Doesn't taste that strong at all. A pretty cool bottle too. It's got like the little insignia thing here and then Innocent Gun, Edinburgh. I like it. And I like the beer. Very pleasantly surprised. Indeed. So pleasantly surprised after that Innocent Gun Irish whiskey stuff that was a horrifying surprise. Oh, that was bad stuff. Maybe a little bit of vanilla flavor? Not really sure what oak tastes like. Never chewed on a tree. But if that's one of the flavors in this that's kind of more key to the flavor, then yeah, I like oak. Not too shabby, Innocent Gun. I 
think aside from the Irish whiskey finish stout from hell stuff that I had by these guys, I think this might be the only other Scottish beer I've tried. No, wait, no, there was, there was another one at some point. I remember doing a terrible Scottish accent for a moment. I can't recall what it was. Regardless of what it may have been, I am going to declare this my favorite Scottish beer so far. This has got a really interesting but good flavor to it. It's very unusual. Different things going on in my mouth. It all works together really well. Really well. Random thing, just read on Facebook that my sister, right now, is finally watching Deadpool. Good job, Aaron. Took you long enough. So, this stuff doesn't taste strong, but drinking this much of it in this much time, she's, she's being felt tingly everywhere kind of thing. Whee! Little bit of weirdness in the aftertaste on that one. Still acceptable. Not gonna let one, one little tiny hiccup dampen all of this loveliness. Unless this is all horrible, then that would be bad. I'm gonna make sure that if there is any badness in there, we're only gonna get one. Cause drink numbers are last. That's a decent amount right there. This could be, this could be bad. Or not. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Excuse me. Not good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, aside from some kind of oddness at the end there, that's a very, very good beer. So, Innis and Gun, your original oak aged beer is rather recommended by the beard. Oh yeah! And that is going to do it for today's daily drink vlog fucking whatever type thing. Thank you so much for watching this video if you watched it, didn't watch it, oh, obviously not talking to you. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button with your face. Thanks again, and I'll be back very, 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 very soon. Oh, peace out! Oh. It's like somebody mixed an IPA with turpentine and then added tar for coloring. Holy crap! God! Sorry for the abuse of myself. Gives me some. Yeah, definitely feeling that beer. Whee! Whew.